What's up, party people? My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, we'll be talking about web design scams. Now, scams are on the rise, right? And I'm sure everyone watching this video has gotten emails from one time or the other where the emails just didn't really seem genuine or they seemed a little questionable. So today in this video, I'll go ahead and give you some examples of some emails and then you guys can let me know what you guys think of these. Now, before I show you guys these emails, I just wanna go ahead and give you a quick overview about how to avoid scams. All right, so let's talk about that. There are many tactics and many new ways to get scammed all the time. Always be mindful when accepting work and be skeptical. If you can, try and take payments with bank transfers or ways where users cannot dispute the charge later. What that means is credit cards and checks. In fact, checks are the number one biggest liability. I would not take checks. We are in 2022. There's really no reason to take checks anymore because they can always bounce. And for those, uh, for the for the, the the new generation who don't doesn't know what that means is. Uh, when checks bounce, that means the checks are no good, <laughs> all right? So yeah, I mean, like uh, even my parents, we had to balance our checkbook and stuff like that. So I understand uh, the old school versus the new school. So uh, just remember that uh, try to take uh, payments where they cannot dispute it later, all right? Credit cards, they can, but with digital contracts, you can add some sort of protection when accepting credit card payments, all right? So number one, the customer overpays the original invoice. This is a number one, very easy to spot scam. Essentially, let's say the job costs $3,000 and they give you a check for $4,000. They're then going to say, oh, sorry, I gave you a payment for $4,000. Give me back $1,000. You give them $1,000 back and then they charge back the initial 3,000 and they get your 1,000. Therefore, they just got a free website and they also got $1,000 and their money back you, you lost all the money that you had and you gave them uh, $1,000. So uh, just be careful about that. There are a lot of, uh, that is a very common way to get scammed. Number two, the customer pays in bogus checks or random names. If they wanna pay with checks, just don't accept it. That's my rule. Don't accept checks. There's no reason to accept checks. There's way better secure ways to accept payments. Any name that does not match with theirs, uh, I would not uh, go with it. If they also do say, I have a private associate or someone else you have to pay, don't trust them, all right? It has to be their name on their ID, no one else's information because that person can claim fraud. Therefore, they will get the money back from your account. So just be mindful about that. All right, number three, the customer has very strange requirements. If you don't trust it, then don't trust it. If they start asking for really weird stuff, like, you know, send the money there or this or that or, if they ask for certain credit cards, just don't trust it, you know? And number four, this might actually kind of help scammers, but it'll, I don't know, you, you guys let me know. I think this will help you guys. Uh, when people use the word kindly and dear, uh, those are foreign words, all right? In America, we don't say kindly and dear, right? I never say, oh, hi, dear. In fact, it, it, when you say dear to a woman, it's very disrespectful. It's like, oh, hey, dear, you know? It's very uh, disrespectful to not just women, but also men. And a lot of people claim they are from America, which they are not. In fact, a lot of companies who approach me with different business offers, they always claim that they're American. It drives me nuts. It's like, look, man, if you're not American, don't say you're American, all right? If you're if you're German, say you're German. If you're English, say you're English, you know? But when I get people that come from me or come to me and say, oh, I'm American, and I hear them talk, I'm saying, you're not American. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't wanna get involved, <laughs> you know? So that is that. But uh, yeah, so if you see these words, uh, don't accept it, all right? Kindly and dear are very common scam words that people use from various countries from wherever they're from. All right, number five, if they ask for personal information, don't trust it, run. There is no reason for them to ask you for any personal information. In fact, you can work under an alias, you know, with web design. All you need to do is when you write the contract, you then need to put all of your legal information and stuff like that, but um, you can just put your business name. They don't have to get all of your personal info, like your home address, your phone number, none of that stuff, right? So uh, yeah, never give them personal information. Number six, High pressure demands are a red flag. If they are very pushy and they really want it fast and they want it now, this is a common scam pressure tactic. Stay away from it, don't trust it. And number seven, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, avoid checks. This is an easy way to get scammed. If they pay with credit cards, get a contract. All right, guys, please get a contract. Uh, make sure you protect yourself as much as possible.
Now for the fun stuff. Now that you guys know a little bit about scams and what to look out for, I'm gonna show you guys three different emails and you guys can let me know which one you think are scam emails. You guys ready? Here we go. The first one, this user is importing and exporting sportswear. You can see he gives a brief description about what he's selling. And in the second section right here, he's talking about the requirements. So the requirements is, you know, he needs the website in English. He does not have the domain yet, but he wants this specific domain name. He'll be providing the images. He gives a budget, some features that he wants, and also he wants the website to be mobile friendly. And then below that, he wants an estimate, our cell phone number, and also would like to know what kind of payments we accept. So what do you guys think? Scam or not scam? If you guys lean to scam, I would agree with you. There's a few warning signs on this email that I wanna go ahead and quickly talk about. So the first warning sign, Website needs to be in English. Now, many foreign countries, they might adopt various languages in those specific countries that might make them have to write in different languages. However, in America, we would only really write in one language. So the fact that they're making this a statement just, just makes me a little suspicious, you know? Number two, I don't have a domain yet, but I want you to buy one. If they truly wanted this domain, they probably would have bought it a long time ago. I'm not really sure why they're asking us to buy their domain name for them, which also leads me to be a little suspicious. Number three, my budget is $2,000 to $8,000. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never got emails from random people that want to give me $8,000. This right here is a very big red flag. The fact that we don't even have to convince them to give us $8,000, but they just want to give us that much money. This right here is very suspicious as well. Um, next, we have the estimate. This is, this is very good. This is very standard. However, your cell phone number. The fact is that if they did go to our website, they probably already found our cell phone number. But the fact is that they're asking us specifically for our cell phone number doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm very skeptical on this one right here. If you guys do see people asking for personal information, again, that is also a red flag. Now, the rest of the statements in this email are pretty generic, right? What kind of payments we accept. They don't need e-commerce capabilities, and they also do want a mobile-friendly uh, website. But this email, I would lean, is definitely a scam. All right, and here is email number two. You guys ready? Let's take a quick read and see if this is a scam or not a scam. I'm looking for a web designer to take my business to the next level. I wanted a brand new website that looks great and stylish for the beauty business. I would like to have the website up by next month and need a price. I have some of the images, but might need help with this. I would like a five to 10 page website. I do have a logo and can supply it. Please give me a quote if possible. I am on a small budget, so this will help me understand the pricing. Also, where are you located? Thanks, Rachel. What do you guys think, scam or not scam? Well, this is not a scam. This is a very uh, generic email that you might get from a lot of your customers. We can see that the customer is a little um, you know, hard to move on with the price. Now, the fact that they ask us where we are located, this is not automatically a scam word, right? Asking someone where they are, maybe this user just wants to know what state we're in, maybe what city, just, just some general information about our company. So this right here is an email that would not be a scam. And here we go, we have email number three. You guys ready? Let's take a quick look here. I run a small business in Los Angeles, California, looking to create something for my dog grooming business. I need something stylish, yet also appealing for new customers. Can you handle that for me? So I want a website like petco.com. The estimate should include hosting. I want the same page as the site I gave you to check out. I have another company I work with as well. They have the text, content, and the logos for the sites. Next, they're giving us their requirements. I want the similar number of pages for the example sites. You can manage the site for me. I will be providing the images, logos, and content for the sites. I want the site up and running by next month. I'm not sure about the budget. Please get back to me with an estimate, and I would like to know if you are the owner. Regards, Jennifer. What do you guys think, scam or not scam? Well, if you guys said scam, then you are correct. <laughs> this is a scam email. I'll go ahead and give you guys a few things that are very large red flags. The first one right here is, I wanna go ahead and take a look at this statement right here. Here they're trying to antagonize you by saying, can you do this? Are you good enough? They're trying to get you to kind of um, be a little bit more um, involved in this email. One very large red flag right here is they have a private consultant. They have just reworded it again. I have another company I work with as well. They have the text, content, and the logos for the sites. 
So the fact that this user is already dealing with a private consultant to me is a very big, very big red flag and that makes me very suspicious. Now let's take a look at these requirements. Now these requirements right here are actually pretty reasonable, right? Uh, they want the number of pages as the example websites. We can manage the site for them. They'll provide the images, logos, and content for the sites, even though they did say up here that uh, another company had that, whatever. Everyone makes mistakes in emails. We can't really always attack them when they make a mistake. I want the site up and running by the end of next month. This right here is also borderline because remember the fact that they're creating urgency is also very suspicious. They're not sure about the budgets. Now this is actually neutral, right? This is not necessarily a scam word because a lot of customers might not know how much a website costs, right? So this right here is actually neutral. You should not be alarmed if you get emails from people that don't know how much to spend because they truly might not know. Uh, one also very large red flag is the fact they would like to know if we are the owner. Why would they want to know if we are the owner? This is a very suspicious question. And the fact is that they are asking us if they are the owner. We have this uh, private consultant. Uh, to me, that right there is a scam, right? Because a lot of people that are ordinary won't ask for this information. So this email right here is a scam. If you guys did get all of these correct, let me know in the comments below. And congratulations. And guys, be wary of scams. They are everywhere. But have you guys been scammed? Let me know your experience with scammers in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear uh, what kind of new scams people have created. Because as you guys know, scammers, they get more and more clever. They think of different ways on how to scam people. So if you have been scammed, let me know your experience in the description below. Also, feel free to join my Facebook group. And also let me know your experience in my uh, Facebook group where you can interact with others. And we can all talk about scams together. Right? My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Take care.